What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Best Bet Show. As always, I'm your host, Maddie Chucks, with my co-host, Austin's Props. Now, before I let Austin talk, let's go over yesterday, or not yesterday, last episode. Two in one day with our new setup of a player prop, a money line, or two leg money line, whatever we're feeling, and then a nerfy. The nerfy did let us down last time, but overall positive day. We're working on the tracker. Make sure positive days slash overall units. These are going to be counted as, you know, our stuff together. So me and Austin come together and see what we like. Cool way to keep track and also have some extra action. So with that being said, Austin, how the hell are we? I'm good, man. I mean, what better way than to make money on our first episode tracking it like that? I'm excited to see how it turns out. And I think you and I together are going to have a positive end of the year and it'll be pretty cool to see. So hopefully in the next episode or two, we'll have like a tracker where we can keep track of everything. But we went two and one yesterday. We got a good slate today, good spot, ready to rock. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's just get into it. Um, games all day today, so I want to get this out. First of all, we're going to go to, I guess, the first game on the list, which is our Nerfy. Um, so those of you guys who are scared of Nerfies, here it is, Orioles and Guardians Nerfy, minus 115 on bet 365. Orioles are like the third worst team in the league to run score in the first inning. Uh, Shane uh, Bieber's on the mound. The only question mark is Voth is on the mound, and he, you know, it's kind of an unknown what's going to do this year, but the Guardians have been so bad that it just kind of makes sense here. Anything you want to add, Austin? Yeah, Bieber 9-2 and two against the Nerfy this year, 80%. Uh, um, the Orioles have not scored in 80% of the innings that they've – or 80% of their first innings, so both are very correlated. Both look good. Austin Voth, like you said, is a little concerning just because we haven't seen him, but that could work – in our favor as well. You know what I mean? They're not really sure what to expect. Three quick outs. The Guardians aren't known for putting up runs themselves. There's really only one guy that's going to beat you in that lineup. So, Yeah, when you look at runs scored in the first inning too, the Guardians and Orioles are both top 10. So it should be uh, hopefully a low-scoring game in that first inning. That's the Nerfy. We're trying to get our first Nerfy win. Hopefully this is it. Three o'clock start uh, Eastern time. So that's the Nerfy. The next one is our money line play. Pirates money line plus 104. We like getting plus money on these. So whether we do a two leg of the favorites that we like or just a money line play, we both agreed on the Pirates. Um, I would say it's a public dog today. Mitch Keller isn't really a well-kept secret. He's been pitching fantastic. Um, and the Pirates, you know, are pretty much a live dog whenever he's on the mound, if they are underdogs. Um, first five people are probably playing, but we're sticking with the full game here. I uh, think they can get it done. Austin, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm more interested in fading Alex Wood as well. I mean, he's had starts where he's gotten just destroyed early. So control issues sometimes with Wood. I think there's just a lot of ways that the Pirates can take this one. And it's nice trusting Keller, who's been ex exceptional thus far. I agree. We need Mitch Keller to lock it down for us and get some runs for him. And I think they will. That's the money line, plus 104. And the last play... Clark Schmidt over 4.5 4, 4. hits allowed, minus 135 on DraftKings. And again, Austin, you could talk more about that. Um, let yeah, us know it, the awesome trend there. It opened at minus 120, and I hammered it there. I absolutely loved it. The line's going to continue to shift, and rightfully so. He's went over in 10 of the 11 games he's pitched in. So t guys have just hit him. They've seen him well. Mariners are trending upward. They got some guys starting to get going. Ty France is getting hot. They need Julio Rodriguez to get going, but... There's just a lot of guys that could sprinkle hits here, and Clark Schmidt's shown that he's going to put the ball in the zone. He's going to get a few strikeouts, but you just need a f five hits from him, which has happened a ton of times. 11.6 uh, 11 hits per nine, so hits should be there. No, I like it, and one thing I do like is the Mariners team, they do have not the highest ISO numbers, which to me is good. I think we'll see some singles, uh, which is always good when you have hits allowed. You don't want anyone getting crushed you know, double, double, double. You like them just, you know, kind of like a single and ending is the pace I like when I like to do. Exactly. It's allowed. You know what I mean? So Into they have home run hitters. Don't get me wrong, but um, I think we're going to see a lot of singles um, and just a lot of light hits today. So hopefully that's the way it goes. So maybe they just let him on a long leash and he goes five innings no matter what, gives up seven hits. I mean, he's, he's had games where he gave up 10 hits. Um, so if we're just looking for five today. I think that's a solid number and the hit rate is just insane. Yeah, I mean, to get it at this price with that hit rate is pretty pretty solid. I would expect this to keep shifting, so I would get it in soon. 
Yeah. So those are the three plays. The Orioles, Guardians, Nerfy, minus 115. Pirates, money line plus 104 on Bat Rivers. Clark Schmidt, over 4.5 hits allowed. Minus 135. Went 2-1 last time. Let's aim for the sweep today. Plays coming out soon. Give us all the love. Like, comment, subscribe. It's going to be a long baseball season. Let's come out positive. Best of luck on your bets today. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.